Hello there, my knife-loving peeps. I have a Marbles Black Stagbone Special Trapper today. Now, this is not my knife. I ordered it for a friend. He had a couple knives he wanted to get from Chicago and didn't feel like paying, you know, $12 shipping. So I said, no problem, I'll throw it on my order. It is the MR481. They call it Black Stag. Now, I don't think it's real stag. It looks like a white bone that has been made to look like black stag. Kind of like the Cinnamon Stag series. Or, yeah. From Rough Rider. But uh, this black's not rubbing off. So, what's unique about this is you see three springs here. It's a three-bladed trapper. Now, I just tried to look it up again to get some specs, and I couldn't find it. So, uh, the key words, I put three-blade trapper and everything in. Could not find it. It's out there, possibly. So, besides the fact that it has three blades, it has uh, two threads on each pinched bolster. You can see the pinch there, two threads, pins feel great, the shields inset nicely. Look at the thickness, it's kind of like a stag, where they make it really thick in the center. Back springs are pretty immaculate on this. Like maybe a hair gap at the top? I think I'm being nitpicky. I think this was like a $14, $15 knife. I can't remember. I didn't get a packing slip. I have not been getting packing slips from uh, Chicago Knife Works. I'll have to go into my emails or something. It looks like there's black G10 underliners under the bone, kind of like how Rough Rider does that. It looks really good. And I was going to do this as a trapper talk, but um, I'm going to be giving it to him soon, so... Let's just do a review. Now, it's a normal size trapper. Lengthwise, it's obviously thicker. Feels really good in the hand, though, if you got big hands. And to have a three-bladed one is pretty cool. I have one other three-bladed trapper. It would be a roper. And it's a, like, kind of a saw... I have it somewhere here. Here it is. This is my Roper three-bladed trapper. It's got the saw blade, the gut hook, and the clip point. Very cool knife. Very cool. But this one, it's a little bit different take on a three-bladed trapper. It has half stops. The main clip blade in the center is a long pull. It's not a nail nick, but you can use it as a nail nick. Match strike. I still need to try to light a match off of these. Great walk and talk on this. So besides the back springs being perfect, let's get it on the blades here. Oh, look it. They're almost all perfect. I think the main clip point point in the center is off to the show side a bit not rubbing spade blades pretty much centered they're all pretty they all look really good for a $15 knife that smooth buttery smooth walk and talk like my rough rider carnivore the pull on this is great though this is probably like a seven pull so main clip blade these are all 440a Got your spay blade. A little different shape there. Very nice. Very sharp out of the box. Great snap. And then they throw in a nice California clip. Look at that. Pretty awesome. 
looks like the tip needs to be touched up a little bit there. But, you know, $15 knife. I haven't even stropped it. I haven't done anything with it. I haven't even cleaned it. This is how it came from the factory. Super tight. Awesome back springs. Now, most of my marbles, I usually have a little gap in the back. So I'm really surprised with this one. The fit and finish was really awesome. Again, it's uh, MR481. If you're interested in the three-bladed trapper, this may be a good one. Looks really good. Like I said, feels great in the hand. It might be a little thick for just a pocket carry. You know, a normal trapper has two blades already. But, uh... If you're skinning a lot of game out in the woods and don't feel like sharpening, you got three blades here. This is pretty cool. Very unique. I've never seen any other pattern do it or any other manufacturer do it, like I said, besides my Roper, which is really, you know, one blade. And then it's more of a camping. Well, I don't know. That, that saw blade looks like it'd go through some bone. And then you, you can gut, and you can skin. And this is uh, carbon blades, though. 1065, all stainless back springs and zebra wood. Great $20 knife. They are more expensive other places. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you like it, liked the video. If you did, subscribe if you haven't already. You see, you can kind of see the CNC machine or whatever they use to hog that out. You can see those lines. Like I said, just like, man, my stuff is a mess. I can't find anything. Just like uh, the cinnamon bone. From Rough Rider. Thank you very much. Have a great night.